Hi, I'm Vince Vetrano with your TMJ4 News headlines. Wisconsin residents being urged to stay home and follow the best public health practices during the upcoming 4th of July weekend. The Department of Health Services for the state says its message is especially important for young people with nearly 20% of the state's total number of recent COVID-19 cases being confirmed in just the past two weeks, many of them being traced back to bars. A judge has thrown out Racine's coronavirus ordinance, calling it unconstitutional. The Racine County Circuit Court judge said that the Racine plan violated Wisconsin's constitution because it interfered with the right to assemble. The owner of a CrossFit gym brought the lawsuit, saying the city's rules threatened his business. Department of Justice has been called to investigate after a Sheboygan police officer shot and killed a man early this morning. It's happened after officers were called to a disturbance between a man and a woman, 15th and in Indiana. Police say that man was armed. Sheboygan police tell us when they arrived, they made contact with the man, and the shooting happened sometime after that. Relatives say the man killed was 32-year-old Kevon Ruffin. The only thing I would say at this time is that, you know, our, our thoughts are with everyone involved uh, in this situation. Um, we are doing our best to make sure that everything is um, investigated properly. They have information about all of his they family. Have they them. have a relationship with them. They could have contacted somebody and said, hey, could you come to the scene and try to talk him? Now, Sheboygan police say officers do wear body cameras, but that it's not clear whether any of the cameras were on during the shooting. There's now a proposal in Madison that would make it a felony to damage statues and historic monuments in Wisconsin. It's a direct response to protesters who tore down statues outside the state capitol two weeks ago. State Senator Tim Carpenter of Milwaukee, who was attacked by some of those protesters, is among the co-sponsors of the legislation. Let's get over to Kristen Kershane with a look at how the rest of the afternoon is shaping up. Yeah, warm afternoon for us here. Temperatures into the 80s and we're going to end up seeing plenty of sunshine. Pretty variable winds today. Overnight, we're not going to get much of a break here. Temperatures remain mild into the upper 60s to even a few low 70s. Uh, mainly clear and quiet for us.